Hello, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to use the gradient tool right after this. So before we get started, I would like you to uh, look in the description and there you can download this um, impossible triangle and, and uh, open it in Affinity Designer and uh, so let's get started okay so go ahead and select your gradient tool and here we have an impossible triangle and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few um, features of the gradient tool um, it's basically the same as the transparency tool uh, with the different gradients that the, that the transparency tool has but it does it is a little bit new, unique in a few aspects so I'm going to go ahead and create a gradient on one of these shapes in the po impossible triangle okay I've created gradients on um, all these shapes that makes up this impossible triangle now I'm going to show you different types of gradients that you can use you can um, up here you can click here and select whether you want it to be fill or stroke I'm going to select fill right now because I'm, that's what I'm working with here and then I'm also going to uh, select which type I want there's lineal, linear, elliptical, radical, conical, and bitmap I'm going to go ahead and select elliptical and you can also turn it around so it goes the other way so you can sort of experiment with these I'm not going to show you each one in this one tutorial I'm just going to show you um, how you can do this and this thing will turn it around and this will lock the sides so that when you bring one out it brings both out saves time from going back and forth and having to redo this so but uh, so I hope this tutorial was useful to you and if you would like more tutorials please please click on my name below the video and or click subscribe to get updates uh, please also comment in the area below give me your thoughts and uh, whatever you think um, I, I should do a tutorial of next and also give this video a like if you liked it